Polly! He doesn't know it yet, but today is day one of kitty cat potty training. Kitty cat potty training, you ask me? Yes, he is going to learn how to poo and pee on the, uh, the toilet. Now, um, hopefully it'll happen quicker than a month and a half or two months, I don't know. He's pretty smart. We'll see. Um, but I'm tired of cleaning up kitty litter all over the floor. And they're tracking their bodily functions everywhere, you know what I mean? So, uh, we'll see how it goes. So this will be no more. No more kitty litter box. And you can see that, like, the litter is everywhere. It's all over the floor and this is like where we shower and get pretty and it's hard to get pretty when there's stuff everywhere so um oh, there it is um I'll show you the contraption in a second so this is city kitty look he likes it city kitty is what they go potty on and um Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll work. So what happens is, first they get like a whole pan, and then we start cutting little holes, and the hole gets bigger and bigger until we don't need the city kitty anymore. And you need flushable litter, so your toilet doesn't get clogged with the like cement, like kitty litter that normally you can get, which I'll show you in a second. So this here is a 40 pound bag of sweet scoop natural wheat litter which is certified flushable which is what we need to use once we start uh, Charlie on his potty training. So this is something that you can use to flush down the toilet. Okay, I've kind of skipped through a few steps because I've already so step one, really, you're supposed to put the litter box beside it and then put it on top of it for a little while. But I've done that before and he's just fine with it, so I'm going to skip straight on to step three. <laughs> so hopefully we don't need to go back through all that again, otherwise I'm going to have to reverse a few steps. So, step one is put the contraption underneath the seat and then put half an inch of the flushable kitty litter on and then I'm going to place Charlie, which I'll do now, on it and show him that there's a litter box right there. So here we go. Now it says on the instructions that it's supposed, supposed to flex that way he knows to use the seat as stability instead of on that guy. So um, hopefully that works, and then we'll start taking out the rings. And I think I'm going to go like week by week with the rings. I don't know. We'll see. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing so far. That is day one. And I'm removing the litter box right after I stop filming this. Uh, you're going to have a lot of that. So he's using the tripod to pet himself. So you're going to have a lot of that for a little while, and you're going to probably have other people in your family that are hating you because they're going to have to remove this a lot, but um, just bear, tell them to bear with you so that nobody has to smell their stinky poo. Bear with you! One last thing. You need to get, have, you have to have this on hand. So I'm actually putting this right beside the toilet. It's just a little basket. And you need positive reinforcement. So hopefully you'll be home for like the first part of this introduction to your cat's potty training. I have little cat treats. I put them in a Ziploc bag. Um, I might need to hide them because he's very good at getting into things. He'll chew open the bag. I'll put them in the cabinet or the cupboard. And then I have a um, broom and dustpan and a uh, scoop, cat scoop, little scoop. 
and then I'm just going to set that right there. And anytime you hear the cat using the toilet, go in there, give him a treat, make him feel loved. He loves the cat litter training pot. Yay! So, see, he wants those treats already. Um, yeah, positive reinforcement is going to be your best friend and his best friend, and that's going to help you out a lot. So, um, be in there. Be a support system for your kitty cat. <laughs>